Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will find how many times a particular character is present in the given string. So, in other words, you can say that finding the frequency of character in the given string. Say for example, the given string is football. So, here app character is present once, o character is present twice, tba, all these three characters are present once and L character is present twice. So, this is what we are going to count in this video. And here, we don't want to apply the case sensitivity. Okay. So, the first thing we will do is that we will convert this string to lower case. You can convert it to upper case as well. Okay. It's up to you. Now, the next thing is we will have one map. So, inside that what we will do, we will store the character for which we want to count and its number of times occurrence. So, its integer. So, this is our map. New has map. Let's import the map. So, inside this map, we will store character and its count. How many times it is? present inside the given string. Now, the next thing is we will iterate character by character to this string. Okay, whatever string is given. So, let's have one character and our given string to care array. So, we are iterating this string character by character. So, first we will get this app character. Okay. For example, for this given string. Now, for each and every character, we will store its count inside this map. Okay. So, obviously, for the first time, we will not have any count because this map is by default empty, right? We have just initialized, right? So, we need to have condition like this. So, what we will see first, we will check. Okay. This is character inside our iteration. Okay. And we will check inside the map that any value is present with this key. What is the key? The character we are getting for each and every iteration for this particular string. Okay. If this particular character with the key, there is nothing inside the map. That means this is the first occurrence of this character inside the given string. So, we will put its count as 1 inside the map and the key is the character whatever is there as the current iteration value and the count is 1 obviously because this is the first occurrence of this character. Now for the next iteration, the next character is O. Again, it will be the same. We don't have any value for this key inside the map. It will put one value for the O character. The key is O and value is 1. In the third iteration, the character is O. Now we have some value that is one value inside our map for the O character. Key O count one we already have, right? So let's have one else condition. So when we are getting any value inside the map for the given character as a key, we will do plus one count plus one. So our key will remain the same, whatever is there inside the iteration and we will get the value what is present inside the map, right? There is some value because that's why it's not null and coming inside the else condition. So, with the key, whatever character, we will do plus one. So, this will give us some value. We will do plus one and with the same character as key, we will overwrite that value by doing plus one into the map. So, you can say that this is for the first occurrence of the character and this is for the subsequent occurrences of the character. So, after coming out of this iteration, we will have this map character and its count. So, using Java 8, we will do for each key value What we will do, our character is key occurred value. 
Okay. Now let's run the program. See what we are getting A is there for one time. Same for the B, T, F. See L character is present twice and O character is present two times. So this is what we wanted for. Now here we have not applied the case sensitivity, right? We have converted our string to lower case. Okay. Now let's do one thing. Let me have this character as a uppercase O. Okay. And let's not convert this string. So here we want to apply the case sensitivity. Okay. Here the O character is present twice. But the first occurrence is capital, that means uppercase. The second occurrence is lowercase. Okay. Now let's run the program again. And here we are applying the case sensitivity because we are not converting string to lowercase or uppercase, right? So let's run the program again. See, now what we are getting the O character that is uppercase is one and the lowercase O character is present once. So if you want to apply the case sensitivity and then you want to count the number of occurrences of the character, then you don't need to convert it to the lowercase or uppercase string. Okay, just go as it is. But make sure you are applying the case sensitivity and accordingly you are counting the characters. If you just want to focus on the character, it's uppercase or lowercase doesn't matter, then just convert the string to lowercase or uppercase so that you will not apply the case sensitivity. See, like this. Here, the O character is counted twice. Okay, it doesn't matter uppercase or lowercase because we are converting string to lowercase. So this is how you can count how many times a particular character is present in the given string. If you like the video, then please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like the video, do comment in the comment section and share with your friends. We'll see you in the another video. Till then, happy learning and happy coding.